Butterflies possess some of the most striking color display found in the nature. Why is there so many colors and different sizes and shapes of the wings? So a butterfly's rich color can act as a camouflage. And also they make attraction and warning signals. So let's look at monarch butterfly. The monarch butterflies are the only insect that migrate to a warmer climate. These monarch butterflies are not able to survive the cold winters of most of the United States. So they migrate south and west each fall to escape the cold weather. In spring, when all the flowers are blossoming and the weather gets warmer, these adult monarch butterflies they will head north from their winter resting area in the southern forests of Mexico and California. They spend their winter hibernation in Mexico and some part of California. If you pay attention, you may see them flying around in your neighborhood. There is a place in Southern California called the Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary. And this place was preserved with pine, cypress, and eucalyptus trees. And they, these butterflies, they like to shelter here. So thousands of monarch butterflies will stay there in October and through March. Springtime, these adult butterfly they will fly north. They don't miss it. Do you know anyone that also is very exact in time and, in ex and also very exact in what they do? How about soldiers? Soldiers in the army, they need to rise up early to be trained, to, new, to learn new skills and rest at a set time. They are very exact in the time according to their schedule. So that's saying, I'm in the Lord's army. you go out, do you like to look around? Sometimes you look at the butterflies and bees. Do you remember one time we went to a garden and we saw a butterfly? Monarch. It was a monarch? Yeah, do you not remember? I remember, I think that's what I saw too. Let's look at monarch butterflies closely. 
These adult female butterflies, they only lay their legs on just one plant. Many of you know, that's right, it's milkweed. And this milkweed is a very special plant because it's very extremely toxic. If the mona eggs, they are laid on plants other than the milkweed, then the caterpillars cannot survive and ultimately they will starve to death. That is why the female monarchs, they choose to lay their tiny eggs on milkweed plants. The eggs are only about the size of a pencil tip and are off-white or yellow. You can pick up your pencil and look how tiny the pencil tip is. Let's see the pencil tip. Wow, so tiny! When these tiny, hungry caterpillars hatch, they have a very good appetite. They are voracious eaters. They can gain about 2,700 times their original weight. The monarch caterpillar must consume a lot of food in a short amount of time in order to have enough food stored to go through metamorphosis. Monarch caterpillars outgrow their skin five times. There are four stages in the metamorphosis of butterflies. Let's see what they are. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. During its migration, each butterfly, they rely on the huge volume of food that they consumed when they were in, when it was a caterpillar. And the milkweed they ate, it contains toxins. So the monarch Caterpillars will ingest and store these toxins to make themselves toxic to the predators, such as the bird. Imagine what will happen to the bird if they digest, if they eat the toxin, the poisonous monarch butterflies. These birds better watch out, so you are what you eat. Do you eat healthy food to keep you healthy? It is so fascinating that we can see this is also in God's creation. We are what we eat. Mm. In the Bible, God's word sometimes is called the pure milk. Drinking a pure milk will make us grow. Wow, it smells so good. And I taste it, it's very sweet. How do we know if the food tastes good? We smell and we taste. There are taste buds on our tongue. When we smell and taste, we are actually sensing the chemicals in our environment. We use our tongue as a taste bud and nose to smell. And monarchs use their sensory organs. Where are their sensory organs? Butterflies, they has a pair of feelers on its head. They are called antenna. And the monarch butterflies, they smell with their antenna. The nectar and the water, they are tasted by the sensory organs, their feet. Oh, God's creation is so amazing. The hair on our skin keeps us warm, but the hair on the monarchs actually help them to taste. Another thing that is very fascinating about mona butterfly is once the mona butterfly is hatched, it can only live for approximately two to six weeks. However, those way overwintering monarchs, they can live about seven to eight months. Wow, two to six weeks to seven, eight months. That is a big stretch. What is that? So the monarchs that migrate to Mexico in the fall, they are very different. See, they are born in late summer, they stay alive all winter and migrate north the following spring. The monarch butterflies, they will continue to feed, fly, and reproduce during their journey. Jeremiah 8, 7 says, even the stork in the sky knows it's a pointed time. God is so wise. We can see his wisdom in all his creations. He is mindful of all his creatures. He took care of the birds in the sky, the animals in the field, and the insects on the ground. The monarch butterflies, they come and go in a proper time and season. That's 
read the verse together. Now let's let the mona butterfly migrate from north to the south and you can have a sibling or family member to help you. Ready? Go! Pull it gently. Next one. Make this kind of kite. It's a butterfly kite. Okay, what we are going to need is a piece of paper, scissors, um, you have lace or not the shoelace but um, ribbon lace or these kind of crayons. Any kind of crayons, but no marker. Marker is fine, crayons yeah. fine, any coloring material is fine. Right? Except for paint. Oh yeah, it's like for paint because it takes time to dry. Um, can you show then, us how to draw a butterfly? Yes, so then you can draw any shape of a butterfly. So I'm going to use a blue one. So I'm going to do it like this. See, maybe this one looks kind of wonky, but it's you can decorate it and it'll look better soon. And then I can use red small antennas. Because the butterfly has antenna as their feelers, right? And you can color them any color. You don't, even though you put it like this, you can color it green. Okay, so we can be creative on this one. And then you can do anything, you could any pattern. So you could do like, because it's your own. You don't have to copy anyone else's. And then you could do it like this. Mm. And then you could do it like that, even okay. though it looks Weird. Or do, do you remember what monarch butterflies look like? What colors are on the monarch butterfly? Orange, black, and yellow. Orange, black, and yellow. Right. And then you said we're making a butterfly kite, right? So the monarch butterflies, they migrate. They migrate to a warmer place. So they can, they can rest there. They can meet all the other monarch butterflies. any color you could even use brown okay so you could do it like this be creative oh I'm going to cut it out okay and if you don't like the way you cut it if I like to make it accent it and then so I could just make it smaller so then or you can do another shape. So, so then it'll be okay if you make a mistake. Even if we make a mistake, it's okay. Don't be frustrated. We make it, we can correct it and make it into a smaller one, right? Yeah. Oh, and you could use any kind of color you want. Oh, but then um, if you do use marker, Please don't put a lot of marker on it, or so it might like scratch up the paper. This like over here and over there. You could just cut it like that. So, okay. like that. Can you show us how to tape it? Of course. Um, and you would need tape, any kind of tape. Um, use any um any length of it, but please don't use too much because oh, if you use too much, um, it might not fly well. So you might get tangled up, is that why? Well, not really. Well, you could use this, like this much, this much is okay. But if you do a lot, like this whole thing, it might be like wobbly and then it won't fly in the open. So then you do it like this, like that. So then I'm gonna tape it right here. I'm going to tape it at the bottom of the butterfly. Tape it. Any kind of tape. Okay, to so secure it. Okay, now 
There you go. Let's see your butterfly. Wow. So then here's your butterfly. You can put the, like this on it. But a ribbon. If you have extra ribbon at home sitting around somewhere in the hall, you can decorate this. See? The, the string. 